The Lord be with you. This week I will be reflecting from the Psalms and from the chapel at Bishop's Court. Let us say the collect for the week together. God of foreigner and the outcast, no one is excluded from your embrace. Inspire us so to love the world that all will live in the dignity and security of belonging in God's family. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We will listen to a portion of Psalm 78. Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 19th chapter, reading from the 16th verse. Then someone came to him and said, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He said to him, which ones? And Jesus said, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false evidence. Honor your father and your mother also. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have kept all these. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away grieving, for he had many possessions.
from Psalm 78, you will notice that Jesus uses the opening lines of the psalm at the end of his teaching on the parables of the leaven and the weeds in Matthew's gospel, knowing it would resonate with his listeners. But perhaps what is poignant is the psalm is, is a bit like a God's conscience in the community. He urges the elders to pass on their history to their children and their children's children so that these generations yet unborn may in turn shape their history, construct their realities according to the heart of God. The psalmist raises difficult questions as in today's gospel. And the psalmist asks, what the kind of society are we bequeathing our children? The days of the pandemic have shown the deep inequalities in our world, the inaptitude of so many of the institutions that are meant to protect us, especially the vulnerable, the despicable patterns of corruption, which is nothing less than robbing the poor of their due. In the name of God, the psalmist challenges us to leave our children a different world, a world of justice, honesty, respect for the earth, righteousness in our dealings with others, and confidence in a nobler future. If you read in verse 8 of the Psalm, 7, 7, Psalm 78, we are also urged that even in the midst of all the troubles, all the things that are heart-wrenching, we must notice and celebrate the great deeds of God. In our days, these great deeds are in the faithfulness of people on the front line, in the generosity of many to those who have little, and in the renewed vision in the hearts of people of goodwill to embed noble values in the societies which will one day pass on to another. We will end our reflections by listening to a hymn by St. Agnes in the Diocese of Nyasa. <laughs> 